Dr. Logan Schneider, a clinical instructor at Stanford University and a chair at the American Academy of Neurology, experienced Shen Yun Performing Arts at the War Memorial Opera House in San Francisco on January 1st. I thought it was great. It, it touched on many different aspects from paintings and that, uh, that art form is to women and their cultural involvement or their involvement in culture and society. Uh, and it was amazing that you could encapsulate or try and encapsulate those 5,000 years of culture from way and back in history all the way up to modern times. And I, I love the most recent one, the, the last one where the kids were playing on the cell phones. It was a great way to show like the, the longitudinal history, I'm sure. According to its website, the company has a mission to revive traditional Chinese culture. However, this performance is not allowed inside China. Sari Ditlevson, a court reporter who started her own firm, said she was moved by the commitment of the artists, not just to their craft, but to the culture the attire that they're wearing to show us about their culture. It's a culture that the Lord our God made. And I think it will only benefit the Chinese. They bring a lot to us. I was surprised that this could not be shown in China. Um, I was surprised for them to talk happily, to talk about spirituality. There are so many things that the culture adds to us, and I just would like it to be shared with everybody. Oh, my goodness. Um, knowing that it's meant to... Um, you know, praise, you know, the divine, yes, I believe that's what heaven would look like. Um, so beautiful, so elegant, so graceful, and the colors um, are heavenly. You don't see it often combined in nature, and that they took it and put it together so beautifully in a way that made sense, just told you something special. Art definitely connects you to the divine. NTD News, San Francisco, California.